Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the BlackBerry Playbook. Now in my previous videos I was not too happy with the lack of actual native email applications on the device. Well in this video I'm going to take a look at what other applications are available for the Playbook in BlackBerry's App World. So let's get App World launched. You can see here App World icon and we will tap on it. Now whilst this is starting up I just want to let you know my experience so far. I actually did a reinstall of all the software on here and a couple of the apps that were pre-installed actually disappeared off the device. When I went into App World to try and reinstall them I couldn't actually get them reinstalled. So I think I've got something like Tetris and Need for Speed not on the device. Both free applications but App World now reports them as not being compatible. So a little bit of a niggle on that front. But the actual App World interface is really nice. As you can see, I've got it presented here in pounds. On first turn on, it was actually presented in dollars. Uh, the way I changed this was actually by going onto my computer, linking a PayPal account to the BlackBerry Playbook and my BlackBerry ID. And then when I did a restart on the device, it switched it all over to pounds, so a lot easier than me working in dollars. Now, one of the big, big annoyances when I linked it to my PayPal account, and get this, I had to authorize this device to be able to make purchases of over £1,000 per month. You couldn't alter that pre-authorized amount. So a big, big failing on BlackBerry's part on that. You should be able to authorize it for perhaps $50 a month if you want to. So anyway, it's very nicely presented. We're on the featured page here. We can scroll across these large icons and if we want to look at one of the applications we can perhaps tap on it and it will bring up the screen giving details of the application. We've got a scrollable list here. We've got the last rating. We can click through to more reviews and we can also look at some screenshots of the application before we make a decision to buy. If we want to purchase it, we tap purchase and then it downloads and installs it to the device. Let's go back onto this featured screen and you can see here we've also got some, uh, some of the newest applications. We can also tap on top free applications, top purchased and recently updated. Let's go back to top free applications and tap this little arrow and this brings up the whole list of top free applications and here we can scroll through and select something to download and install. Let's use Tetris as an example. This was one of the applications that disappeared off the device. Let's see if whilst I'm on video it will actually install it. So we go to the download button and then it starts downloading and this time it's working. Wow, how good is that for the camera? Tetris for BlackBerry Playbook is downloading and installing. So that is a big result. So we can leave that downloading or we just watch it complete as it's downloading very quickly indeed. And then once that download load is completed, it says installing. And then that line should whiz across and we will get a fully installed application. Just while this is installing, we can scroll through the list of other things I've downloaded and installed, as well as some of the bits that were pre-installed on the device when I got it out of the box. I will show you a couple of these within this video, uh, but if you've got any special requests, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to cover off that specific application. You can see here I've installed Facebook, a nice game called Automaton 2015, Konku which is like a productivity app, ATP World Tour Tennis live connection for all the results, the Twit app is absolutely fantastic, I'll show you that in this video very briefly and then we've got a list manager and you can see this is still installing at 81%. We can go across to the uninstalled apps. This is something like uninstalled, it wasn't a very good app. And then we've also got an unavailable uh, tab there as well. Not sure why that's even there. Let's go back to uh, categories this time, whilst that's continuing to install. And we have a look in the games section. Let's see if we can get that need for speed to install. So we can have a look here. This is all of the games that's av that are available a nice long scrollable list. We can tap on paid games or free games to filter out our search. And let's see if Need for Speed's here. Here's Need for Speed. 
let's tap on that and here this is the problem I was previously having with Tetris so it's having trouble connecting to the Blackberry World server verify your network and try again so we know the network's working because it's downloaded that previous app so let's try again and it can't actually install it so what I've been doing is going back all the way back to the home screen and then typing into the search need for speed and then tap in return and then this shows the results for that particular search and then when I tap on this one it gives me the option to download again and we tap download and this time it's working so it seems that depending on which way you go in to download the application gives you a different result so that's not fantastic certainly something that BlackBerry need to sort out so we'll leave that downloading in the background at least I've got those two games that were disappeared off my device back to the install in progress let's go back to categories and have another look in here while that's downloading let's have a look in IM and social networking and then we've got three more categories to choose from so let's choose instant messaging and you can see in instant messaging we've got just five applications to choose from let's go back and go into social networking and then in here we've got a few more to choose from we've got the Facebook app which is obviously very popular we've got something called Stacks we've got Video Chat, let's have a look at this Video Chat one called Real Portal uh, and this is uh, used to actually work with multiple devices and OS's so it looks quite good actually um, but it doesn't list what services it works with so we'll go back and see what else we've got have we got an actual Twitter client well we've got something called TweetRC half a star rating doesn't even allow you to tweet anything out and we've got Call Tweets Editor 85 pence looks like it allows you to um, uh, use emoticons within tweets so that looks absolutely rubbish so we won't even look at that uh, we've got Twit Trends, Twitter Search Trendset HD but nothing that actually looks like a Twitter application and this is one of the big uh, failings of this device at the moment is that there's no actual Twitter application let's have a look at topics on Twitter and this just actually lets you see what's happening on Twitter and not actually post any updates so big big shame that this doesn't actually have the apps on here that I want there are other apps available there's lots of sections to go through and things will improve with time I don't want to make this video too long but let's just have a look perhaps in the productivity section and then into productivity and here you can see we've got lots of to-do lists uh, uh, lots of um, diaries so plenty to choose from so we just you just need to go through and actually search for something good and I have been testing a few and found quite a good sort of productivity organizer which I'll try and share with you in a future video so let's go all the way back out to the home screen we can get rid of this running in the background by just swiping it off the screen which is really nice and then we can show you perhaps the game that we just downloaded if it's installed and that was need for speed so is that still there let's go on the games tab it must still be downloading in the background so we'll give it a little bit longer to actually install so that I don't get too many questions you can see a Twitter icon here now I said to you a Twitter app isn't available and that is in fact correct if I tap on the Twitter icon it goes to the browser so again we're working on the internet rather than on a native app which is a big big shame they really need to sort this out and get us an actual native Twitter app on the BlackBerry Playbook. It works okay in the browser, but it isn't the same as an application. So let's have a look at games now, and we're still waiting for that one to actually install. Whilst we're waiting for it to install, let's have a look at Automatron. Really nice graphics on this game. I'm not very good at it, so don't go slating me in this video. But let's have a very quick look at the gameplay on here. So we have to stop the enemy from reaching your base. And I'm absolutely rubbish at this game, but I just want to show you the graphics. So here we've got some controls. 
and we can launch missiles we can turn around you can see my little plane on the screen there and we can turn around again so here we've got to try and stop these robots from reaching my base and there you go you can see how rubbish I am because I actually crashed into it so we've got another plane coming down I want to turn him around the controls aren't bad but it is very difficult to control you can see there I destroyed him but I actually died in the process but you get the idea we've got a dodge button as well it's uh, just a little bit tricky to use with the controls that are supplied let me see if I can kill one without actually dying no I can't we'll give it one more go and then we'll go back to see if the other games installed no and he's killed me again so let's quit out of that game and we go back into uh, media and then back to games to see if it refreshes the list and it still hasn't installed that need for speed one so there's obviously something gone wrong there let's launch app world and see why it hasn't installed need for speed so if i go to my world tab there it says installed uninstalled and unavailable so did it actually install need for speed is it in my list so even though it said it was downloading and installing it, it didn't actually install it to the device. Well, I'm going to show you one more game because I don't think it's fair just to show you one. I'm going to show you this one here, which is Bubble Mech Lite. There is also a paid version. This was a free game. And this is sort of very similar to, uh, is it Bubble Bobble, something like that. Uh, we've got an intro. We've got level two. You can see the ones I've completed. Uh, let's just go on to one that I didn't do very well on and it's just a simple matter of using this control here to match up the bubbles and to clear the level very simple controls and it's just one of those puzzle games that's quite addictive let's pop this one down here out of the way pop that one up there out of the way uh, we've got a green and a red see if we can bounce this one off the wall no we couldn't and you get the idea and the idea is you have to release these ones that are captured in the um, little bubbles at the back there And so you continue, you get the idea. So this is uh, a nice little game, that's Bubble Mech Lite or Leet, and you close it down like so. So overall, a good experience on the app world, even though it's lacking some of those major applications, and also a few little bugs that BlackBerry need to iron out with app world. Well, thanks very much for watching. This video has certainly gone a lot over time, a lot longer than I expected, but I'll see you all in the next video for more coverage on the BlackBerry Playbook and more tech and gadget reviews. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.